Hello and welcome everyone. This is the C++ playlist in my channel and that uh, uses Visual Studio 2017 Community Edition as a compiler and ID and debugger. And today I'm going to teach you about the pointers and the indirections or dereferencing a pointer and what the pointer is all about. So before I tell anything about the pointer, let me show this application first. Let me write and run this application with control and F5. So the output on the console says the data in the pointer is there is a pointer value, which you will see that it is a memory address that it uh, points to and the memory address of the number is this. The content of the address pointed to by the pointer true indirection is 88 and blah blah blah. So just remember that this uh, console output and we'll discuss that in a due course of time before the end of this application after having known the pointer concepts. So now getting back to what a pointer is So what are pointers? Pointers are nothing but the storage in memory to hold an address or the memory location of a variable in the mem memory location of a variable. The address is a hexadecimal um, or a base 16 number that typically each address holds 8 bits or 1 byte of data. We have previously seen that an integer typically holds 4 bytes and next slide we are going to see a pictorial representation of the relationship between the variable's name value address and its relationship with the pointer variable that stores the variable address so this is a pictorial representation it shows a variable name which is number that we are going to see and the value at any point of time say it is 88 this is the value pointed to by this pointer and this is the address in the memory of the variable so this is where this mem uh, address resides uh, as this is where the um, number or the variable value resides at any point of time. Now this is changeable. So after the program is exited, the next time if you are, if you run this program, this address is bound to change. It's no more will be the same because the this address can be any address on the heap. Now this pointer variable is which we just saw that pointer is pointer variable is just like any other um, integer variable or a double or a float type of variable which has also got a data type so this is p number it is denoted with an asterisk uh, on the left side of it and it points it 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 holds as contained it holds the address of this variable number and it also has an address which is for example here it is double zero six ffbd zero so this is the address of the pointer because pointer is also a data which is actually the memory address but pointer also resides at a particular address so that is the address of the pointer now pointer the syntax for declaring a pointer is to place an asterisk or star mark in front of the variable name. A pointer like other variables is associated with the type such as int and a double as well. For example, and now this is IPTR is the pointer variable and this is pronounced as pointer to an integer IPTR. This is pointer to an integer I, and the name of the pointer variable is IPTR. So it declares a pointer variable called IPTR pointing to an int or an int pointer. It contains an address that address holds an int value. Similarly, there will be a dptr, another pointer variable, which declares a double pointer, a pointer to a double. Now, naming convention of the pointers include a p or a ptr as a prefix or suffix. For example, p counter, p employee, or k ptr, average ptr, etc. etc. Now, next concept is address of operator and operator so what this operator is this 
when a pointer variable is declared, its content is not initialized. In other words, it contains an address which could be a garbage and points to an invalid location. We need to initialize a pointer by assigning it a valid address. This is normally done via the address of operator. Just like any other variables, int variable or double, we need to initialize it um, to be able to work with it. I mean, even if it is not required to assign it at the declaration, but it's always a good practice to uh, assign it after declaration. Now, the, but for pointer, it is absolutely must. If you don't assign a pointer in each, uh, and it is declared, then without declare without initializing if you use it in your program this most probably going to run into some error now the address of operator operates on a variable and returns the address of the variable so for example there is an int number 88 and there is an int pointer pointed p number which is then pointed to an integer and we can always assign p number as equal to and number or address of this variable number and again this is another pointer variable in pointer p another which can also be addressed to this location and number declare another in pointer need the address of the variable number this is all legal to do next important process is the dereferencing operator or the indirection operator Indirection is the process of returning the value of the variable that is stored in the address kept in the pointer variable. So, in other words, it is returning the value of the variable. So, by this indirection, we actually return the value stored in a number variable, in, a, in an int variable, say for example, int number equals 75 and we declare a pointer to an integer p number and assign it the address of the number. Now, here in this statement, um, c out greater than greater than asterisk or this is a dereferencing operator or indirection operator. So, dereferencing p number, now it prints the value pointed to by the pointer which is an int with value of 75. So, basically the pointer, if you are working with pointers, now you are working, um, if, you, if you happen to, because it is a memory address or memory location, if you change the contents of that memory location, then any variable, any other variable that points to that location has automatically gets the changed value, right? So, dereferenced p number or asterisk p number equals 93. Now, I reassign a value where the pointer is pointing to with the 93. Earlier, it was 75. Now, again with the printout, see out statement, this will print out the new value pointed to by the pointer, which is now 93. Now, here, as I just said that because with this indirection operator, I have assigned a new value 93, which replaces the old value. So, number which has this old value 75 will also get changed because the number is residing at this memory address, which has got a new value 93. So, number will also return the change value. So, the value of the variable number also changes to 93 as the content of the address that it resides has changed to 93. The P number in the previous slide refers to the memory address. This is the memory address. P number is the memory address. Whereas dereference P number or asterisk P number refers to the value stored in the address kept in the pointer variable or simply the value pointed to by the pointer. Here the asterisk in Asterisk P number is a dereferencing or indirection operator which helps referring to the value indirectly via a pointer. Now, pointer types. We have got pointed to an integer, pointed to a double. The pointer has a type of the variable that it points to. A pointer can only hold an address of the declared type. It cannot hold an address of a different type. 
So for example, we declare an int variable and assign it 77 and double d as 89.98 and we declare a pointer to an integer i pre-tier and address and assign it to the address of this variable i and that is very legal and we assign a double pointer d ptr and assign it the address of this variable d however we cannot do like this i ptr cannot be assigned to the address of this double d neither can this double pointer be assigned to the address of this integer i There is a thing on uninitialized pointers. Pointers need to be initialized upon declaration as I told earlier. The pointer here was not initialized after declaration and is pointing to somewhere because it was not initialized to a proper value. So which is of course an invalid memory location or garbage. The line asterisk IPTR equals 88 is not pointing to a memory address. It is, a, it is just a value and corrupts the value of this pointer to an integer. We need to initialize the pointer with a valid address. However, most compilers do not signal an error or warning on uninitialized pointers. Now, a pointer can be initialized with a, to a null or zero. It's called a null pointer. But however, if it is uh, assigned a value of null or zero, it cannot be dereferenced. And in any effort to dereference a null pointer will end up in status access violation. So now going back to the this program which I'll run so control F5 here yeah the so first I have just copied out this um, block of code just to save time on writing the code myself so the first line we will analyze the data content in the pointer is 0056 FDC 0 this is all hexadecimal um, notation that is uh, 0 to 9 and then a b c d e f okay so that is hexadecimal notation just like binary notation and decimal notation is from 0 to 9 binary is 1 and 0 so this is 16 digits so the data content in the pointer is p number so this is um, p number is assigned this is a pointer to this number pointer to an integer and it refers to the address where this number lies the memory address of the number is this the memory address of the number is AND number. This that is the AND operator is address of operator. It gets the memory location. Third line is the content of the address pointed to by the pointer through in direction is 88. So this is dereferencing uh, the content of uh, P number pointer uh, where uh, this uh, P number is pointing to. So that is 88. Now we reassign P number to 99 and then the memory address is still the same number and content of the address pointed to by pointer through indirection is now changing to 99 and the num changed value of the variable as a result of the reassignment of the content of the address pointed to by the pointer is also changed to 99 and address of the pointer variable is 0056 FDB4 which is different from the memory address of the number right that's all thank you for watching if you like the video put your likes put your comments and don't forget to subscribe thanks